Hello, Capricorn. It's time to get into you guys' reading. Um, thank you all so much for joining me over here. Spirit of me, 1111. What's your girl, Stardust? Um, we will be starting you out today with the Moonology deck. My keyboard is very, very sensitive, like a baby. So I'm just making sure that I do not hit any keys and stop the recording. Otherwise, I'll have to edit the video together, okay? No, actually, not the Moonology deck. My bad. Starting you guys out with some astrology cards here for my Capricorns. Guys, just remember that tarot is timeless. Um, these can be events that have already taken place that are currently unfolding for some of you or that could potentially happen for some of you, not all of you, Capricorns in the near future. Okay? Also, tarot is gender neutral. Your kings can be queens and vice versa. So, <laughs> don't get too caught up in the genders. Look what you guys got first. Taurus. Period. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Spirit more. Okay, we have a planet card. Venus. Oh my, I was just going to say Taurus is ruled by Venus, the beautiful goddess of love, abundance, beautiful things, art. When Venus shows up in Taurus, because she rules Taurus as well as Libra. When Venus shows up in Taurus, she is focused on things that she loves, practicality, her money, her finances, you know, going hard, hitting the grindstone. So let me get you your last card here. I'm here trying to deck. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It will be greatly appreciated. Donations are always welcome if you would, guys would like to help me um, with my channel. Otherwise, you can just allow for the ads to play all the way through. <laughs> I'll take that first planet card. The sun. Oh my. Hey. And uh, No, I'm going to have to take them both because it's Jupiter. And when Jupiter shows up, you, you don't send Jupiter home. Jupiter's like, go big or go home. I'm like, okay, Jupiter, you can stay, man. Dang. <laughs> I got a sense of humor this morning, although I've had no coffee or breakfast yet. See how that works out. So, we got Jupiter. Hey, now. Pisces. I'm not taking any more cards from this deck, although I did see Aries. We'll see where the energy plays out in here, right? So, in Jupiter's energy here, the energy is... Um, your confidence, courage, self-belief, and luck. I see this being a time for expansion, for growth here. Um, for you guys, for a lot of you guys, right? Um, Jupiter rules Sagittarius as well as Pisces. So, the sun is Leo's energy, and Taurus, ruled by Venus, right? And then you have Venus herself, which represents Taurus as well as Libra. So, you guys can be dealing with any of those signs. Capricorn, I see here that... Jupiter is blessing your finances, your money, your luck, and Venus probably um, has something great and awesome in store for you. Your immortal spirit, life force, energy, purpose, destiny is all involved here in this reading today that we're going to do for you. So I'm very excited to see what comes out in your spirit. Also, Taurus is the energy around you is shows the abundance of nature. It is rich, earthy, and productive, yet relaxed and slow. Knight of Pentacles type of energy. This is something that you are going after. Um, dreams or goals that you plan to make manifest in the physical, right? Physical things, tangible things with Taurus energy, that earth energy. It's going to be beautifully blessed, abundant, expansion, very lucky time for you. Um, all is well when the sun is out. This is the happiest card in the tarot. So something is going to come along and add so much vitality and happiness to your life. The happiness, happiest you have ever been in your life, period. You're on the precipice of that energy here, Capricorn. So Venus is the part of you that desires beauty, success, indulgence, and valuables. I'm seeing some of you guys just really, really honing in on these skills, the talents, the crafts, working hard, getting to it, and living your best life here in this energy. Um, that's quite amazing if I do say so myself. I'm saving the Moonology deck now. Spirit does not want me to pull these cards at this moment. Um, they say go straight to the tarot. Not even the steampunk ones that I wanted to do. <laughs> See how Spirit is with energies, guys? It is amazing because, yeah. Hmm. I guess that's a reader's type of thing. <laughs> so, let's get you guys some tarot. Let's get some tarot. Oh, one of my nails is loose. Are you kidding me? Do not pop off during this reading. 
I become my own nail tech these days. And I'm getting better with every set that I do, but, you know. Wow. We got Four of Swords. Something or someone is going within a lot, meditating, resting, rejuvenating. Spirit says, rest up, Capricorn, for the energies that you are embarking on, what is coming ahead for you what's in store for you it's going to require that you be well rested for this journey for this expansion for this growth <laughs> i see here for some of you guys you are going to go from overlooked to overbooked period <laughs> period so we have this little paper hey oh my the Wheel of Fortune with Jupiter. You cannot even make this up. Jupiter is the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter, okay? This is Pisces, Sag energy. This is abundance, expansion. The wheel finally beginning to turn in your favor. Wow, wow. Wowzers. <laughs> okay. I see here that something is going to come in and just like... Knock your socks off. It's going to wake you up out of that sleep and somber you've been in. Not feeling like you were enough. Some of you guys. Oh my. Come on now. Really? Really? <laughs> we have four cards and I don't know what these cards are. We're going to find out. Because they just like fell on the floor. That is very powerful from spirits. We have the fool. Three of swords. The devil. And nine of cups. I'm taking them. As well as the Hierophant. Um, hmm. So with these energies, these cards, for you guys, this is telling me that, um, what is that top card and bottom card? I think I need to be done with this deck. I want to be done with it. We'll see what spirit has me do with that. Um, something or someone that you could have possibly wanted a marriage from or out of, or that was lying to you making promises about marriage. Um, here, I say that because the cards that have followed the devil and the three of swords, we'll get to that. But I see here that you, um, this is more Taurus energy as well. So we start out with Taurus and we have more Taurus, the hero fan. This could be that your love life is going to ascend to a higher level of commitment. Some of you guys are going to be getting married and engaged. It's going to be a wish fulfillment kind of energy here with the nine of cups here, as well as that hero fan energy here something is just gonna have you wanting to go and dance in the sun like a little kid being happy um being fulfilled um like even the heroine in this picture is just smiling just laughing living his best life knowing that um that you know the level up is real the success is real here while people may think you're at the bottom and you know you sit back and you say to yourself you know what's within you know what you're manifesting you know what's ahead of you for those of you who are reading watching this tarot card reading you you know what spirit has laid out on this table for you is telling you it is possible for you that things are going to be happening for you in real time in the 3d here the will is finally beginning to turn in your favor capricorn um on this side i have the devil this is your energy capricorn cancer scorpio pisces gemini libra aquarius aries as well as aquarius with the full energy right so something or someone that you've been on break or pause from here um, that may have even broken your heart here. This Four of Swords has a picture of a woman here with a heart trying to mend her broken heart, you know, here with the swords being kind of like crochet needles and her trying to sew the pieces of her torn heart back together while resting, while um, falling back, while being on break away from this person here. I see you nested and protected. Um, I see you trusting in your own self and intuition these days, not really wanting to come out of the comfort of your home these days. A lot of you guys are homebodies. You're staying close to home, doing the work, mending your broken heart, putting back the fragmented pieces of your soul that have been maybe torn from someone here in the past that showed up that did not play too well with others you in particular right with this three of swords energy right someone put you in a third party someone broke your heart someone was um making promises for temporary peace with this devil energy pulling the strings of your life like a puppet this person wanted to be the puppeteer of your life this is you um guarding yourself this is you bracing getting prepared for what's next what else does this person want from you well they want your heart all to themselves they want to pull the strings there's so many strings here this is something else like look at this mending the strings of your heart back together after something or someone literally literally like had you um 
basically had the strings of your heart in their hands. And this person could have been very obsessive. This person could have been very controlling. This person could have been... Um, had some sort of addictions going on in their own life. So maybe the things that were taking place behind the scene um, for you didn't make sense because you couldn't understand this person all the way as much as you really needed to. But they were definitely playing games with you here, Capricorn. Um, I wish you guys could see that image how I see it. You see how this person there is like kind of balled over with their hands over their ears here. Like, no, no, I can't take it anymore. Stop, stop. Why are you doing this to me? Like, what did I ever do to you? And this person is all about the games. They're all about the play, you know? And it's like, hey, I'm going to give you what you want. I'm going to give you the greatest sex ever. I'm going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to finesse you. And then this person just shows up and pulls the strings, tearing you to part, tearing you to pieces, tearing you to shreds from the inside out. And some of you guys have mastered or are on the precipice of mastering the art of putting yourself back together becoming more abundant knowing that the universe is going to begin to turn in your favor and believing in yourself the fool here is about a reset button so you're moving forward you have a brand new beautiful beginning and unexpected opportunity coming your way here and it's going to be something that's going to require for you to take the leap to take the risk to just go for it don't overthink this when it comes your way it's going to be beautiful the will is turning in your favor this means that something that you least expect at the time you least expect that that is going to come your way i'm telling you and spirit wants you to know go for it because it's going to be your wish fulfillment kind of situation so you want to go for that it could be meeting someone that's going to lead to a marriage higher level of commitment someone that when you meet them they won't even show up as um the person that you expected maybe not even your usual type here um spirit just said make sure you get those romance angels <laughs> okay um i'm gonna get the romance angels here so i don't forget these guys Something or someone that when they come in, you're going to have a lot of fun. They're going to be playful. It's going to be someone that's going to, you know, gradually um, take you, elevate you to a higher place of spirituality, um, traditions, beliefs. This person is going to be kind of spiritual in their own sense um, here, you know, but someone like that will not impose their beliefs over on you. This is going to be someone that's going to be able to... Um, you know blend the difference of both of you guys' background into one and accepts you for you for who you are or how you are however that may be for whoever of you that that part of the reading may resonate for and with okay cool <laughs> cool beans capricorn all righty yes so i want to get another deck steampunk here we go spirit like here we go this is what they want me to do so let's do it Cool beans for my caps. For the Capricorn spirit, what else do we have for this lovely reading? I'm so sorry your heart has been torn to shreds and pieces, but I'm so, so happy to see you guys putting yourself back together, getting the rest, going within, doing the work, the meditations, and just standing back in your power, claiming your inner goddess, that Venus energy, the part of you that refuses to quit, the part of you that says, yeah, I'm scorned, yeah, it hurt, but still I rise, still I shine, I know who I am, like the Empress energy in Venus, um, Venus does not chase or pursue, she simply attracts, the queen of all queens, very abundant, very beautiful, very attractive, right? So you know who you are, you know your worth. That's what's up. <laughs> That's what's up. Okay, this one turned over. King of Pentacles. Hey, now. Spirit blessing you with a King of Pentacles in your life. You heard me? Yes, that part. And buy some of my cards. Uh, I'm not card picking here. I just saw that some of my cards are in the reverse. And I don't do reversals. There's a Queen of Pentacles. Let's we'll see if she comes out to meet her man. <laughs> All right, Spirit, what else do we have? So we have King of Pentacles, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn. This is somebody that is a boss, a CEO, an entrepreneur. But it's someone that's coming in to offer you stability. Someone here that's very trustworthy. You can invest in this person. You can expect um, the same thing that you put in to get back, like reciprocity here. Although the Six of Pentacles is not here, this person is coming in with reciprocity. This is someone that is unbothered by society. 
by those around him this person is just really methodical like Taurus energy very slow and steady right this person will sit back and watch you um, go through your moments have your time and wait for the right time to come in this is not someone that's going to come and overwhelm you with their wants with their desires with their needs they won't be extra needy on you and your energy they have everything that they need their money is doing really well okay so what else do we have for my capricorns spirit four of pentacles so with the four of pentacles energy here i'm saying here that someone could be um really short on finances penny pension like brahman from paul to pay peter having it hard right now you got two fours here that's definitely representing something that's more stable stability here um and then you have the seven of swords why is my deck upside down then we have the seven of swords here in this picture she has all the swords in her hand so i feel like you are picking up all of the broken pieces of your life the, the manipulation the lies the deceit the distrust here that a past person brought into your experience whether you allow that knowingly or unknowingly here you have went in and did the work and you know you cautiously look back um, some of you guys are a little bit ashamed that you have let this type of person in your experience when you've had King of Pentacles show up, when you had abundant men or women and opportunities show up and extend the olive branch to you, but because of a connection you had to someone that you had obsessive, um, addictive energy towards, you blocked that from yourself. Hmm. Eight of Cups. This is where you gain the strength after going within, after something does not sit right or resonate with your soul to finally just walk away from that that did not serve you, from that that did not reciprocate your love, your time, your energy, your coin, and you walk away. You are dealing with someone, Capricorn. Four of Pentacles is your energy. So again, this is about the devil's energy as well. This is someone that is very controlling and possessive here with the Four of Pentacles and the traditional tarot. It shows someone that is... Um, holding their pentacles i'm going to get a card and show you guys it all makes sense when i can pull these images together with it so on the fourth pentacles in the regular tarot it shows someone that's holding all of their pentacles close to their chest so it could be that someone was holding back from you not showing you everything that they had to bring to the table being lying to you being stingy the fourth pentacles could be the miser of the tarot um but it's also like you holding yourself back you know where's this card where's this card <laughs> I'm not using this deck for your reading, but I do want that Four of Pentacles for you guys to get the picture of what it looks like in the traditional. Here we go. So this is what the card looks like from the traditional tarot, right? So in the past, you're dealing with someone here that was stingy, that was possessive and controlling. That's like mine, mine, mine. They wanted everything for themselves, whether it was you, what you had to offer. If this was someone that was always coming around taking and wasn't given, that energy is here, right? So Spirit wants you to know that you got better things coming in here. Believe in yourself, believe in your journey, um, believe in your ability. And then you have the King of Swords here, this Four of Pentacles person. You got two kings here. This is two different people you're dealing with for sure. The King of Swords, Aries, Leo, no, I mean, sorry, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, right? So you dealt with someone in the past that was very cold, distant, emotionally detached, um, didn't play well with others that energy is still here <laughs> this person did not play well with others probably someone that was talking um reckless to you and then you meet someone that comes in that's very cool that's very laid back it's very suave nothing like this king of swords type of person right this is somebody that's always looking for the faults in you instead of sitting back and analyzing and assessing the faults within themselves because when you're dealing with that type of person and that type of energy they can't do any wrong let them tell it you know so glad you're walking away from that <laughs> We don't need none of that. So, with the Eight of Cups energy, you are soul searching. You are walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you to go towards your abundance, to head towards something that is more um, deserving of your time, your energy, your resources, someone that you can grow with, someone that can come in and match your fly, right? And that Venus Emperor energy. <laughs> 
I almost couldn't get it out. Two of Wands, being at a crossroads, most definitely you have the ability to decide which way you want to go on a beautifully well-lit path that is set out for you by the divine, like the will of fortune turning in your favor. Jupiter saying, go big or go home, Capricorn. This is your calling. This is the call on your life is leading you to abundance. Your values, your assets, your money increase and work on yourself. Continue to show up and be that beautiful empress energy here because the world is your oyster. Gobble it up, right? Then we have the temperance, Sagittarius energy. This is a time in life where spirit wants you to be able to come more into balance with yourself, with your emotions, right? Healing is something that we all are on a journey of doing here. And with the temperance pouring from two different vessels here, right? This is learning to balance your mental as well as your emotional body, creating the perfect elixir for you, not anyone around you, just you, whatever that looks like, whether it's more yoga, meditation, um, Focusing on yourself more and, and giving yourself more self-love here could be very paramount in this time of your life to get that new start that you deserve to be free from the things that have held you back before from the addictions from other people having the strength of your heart and twain around with you leading to those broken hearts, those emotional upset moments here that did not serve you. So you fell back and you are definitely putting yourself back together when spirit and the angels are helping you, whether you see any proof of it in the 3D or not spirit and the angels are definitely here and helping you so let's <laughs> i do want to take a look um i definitely see here i'm gonna take these last two and i'm done with tarot for this reading we'll get into some oracles so we have the high priestess here in the seven of pentacles that's pisces virgo energy and also more virgo towards capricorn so this is you, Capricorn. Look what life looks like when you begin to invest in yourself, when you begin to manifest some of this um, Jupiter energy, the Wheel of Fortune energy. This is about investments. And it's also a time for reflection for you to sit back and look at the things and events and the time and how you step into this abundant energy, right, of Taurus. Everybody wants to know, um, everybody wants to have Taurus in their second house. Taurus rules the second house, but everybody wants to know if they have Jupiter or Taurus in the second house. And with Taurus being here in Jupiter, um, this is indicative to me that some of you guys have Taurus in your second house and you're being blessed abundantly. Now it's time to manifest from that energy. So any works that you put your energy and time and attention into, you're going to magically be able to manifest the outcome you want here. So go inside, do the reflection, do the work, take notes, keep a journal, um, and continue to do those things that you've been doing that have been paying off for you, that are continuing to add to your success while leaving shadiness and people behind in the past, not forgetting the experiences that you've had, but keeping anything personal about yourself and your life and your resources to yourself, not allowing for others to get a hold of things that can come back and hurt you in the end, you know, like these swords, you got to be real careful how you carry swords around in life, be it you or other people around you, because at some point the shady behavior will definitely come back on you and those swords that you use to harm or hurt others will then begin to be you know they say you live by the sword you die by the sword right so i see that type of energy with this car okay so definitely beginning to invest in yourself to love on yourself and to know that you are worthy of love divine love fortune abundance is your birthright so claim that and the high priestess energy here some of you guys or your person are very intuitive very empathic here um you could be doing a lot of um spying on your person through tarot card readings or they could be spying on you through tarot here but with the high priestess energy this is about secrets right so are you keeping secrets holding secrets near and dear to your heart or is a person or somebody around you keeping secrets from you or has kept secrets from you in the past that has led to that three of swords type of energy breaking your heart and that devil energy that obsessive energy right that obsessive compulsive type of energy that i see here and i get from those cards so i'm gonna go into some romance angels for my capricorns <laughs> cappies <laughs> cappy cappies and thank you guys for being so patient with me as i go through the tarot Spirit, what messages do we have for my Capricorns for their lovely, lovely, timeless reading? I love the High Priestess in this deck because she just gets to it. Some of you guys could even be tarot card readers or could be wanting to read tarot. And Spirit said, it's your calling. It's going to be abundant. It's going to pay off. Look at you looking super badass. Start that YouTube channel. For those of you who want to do that, start that channel. Get it in. Do you, my love. Right? So, we have more Leo energy here. Some of you guys could just be dealing with a Leo. And oh, look at that. Worth waiting for. That's beautiful. Spirit said take the last one too. 
healing family issues was the first card I got for you guys, right? So, this card reads, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Some of you guys have mommy or daddy issues, um, or you, you may have had some abuse in some form from a parent. You are healing from that. You're mending back the pieces of your heart. Three of Swords does not have to be a love interest. It could be family or friends that have broken your heart. Some of you guys may have had a rough childhood or took in a lot of abuse from one or both of your parents. And Spirit is here telling you guys, you're very well protected and guarded and guided, divinely protected with the will of fortune. Things are turning in your favor, Capricorn. I'm so sorry for whatever hurt you've been through, but it gets so much greater later with the temperance energy here. This is like no weapon formed against you shall prosper. You know, that's why in this seven of swords, I've never seen this. In the seven of swords, there's always two swords that are falling. But in this seven of swords, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Anyone that comes for you that makes a foul move or approach towards you, um, their plans will falter. They will not have the will, the energy, or the power to be able to come towards you with this spirit has your back the universe has your back <laughs> beautiful energy all right so you have getting to know each other um as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens and it's right by my king of pentacles so that king of swords is in the past mr shady <laughs> with the king of pentacles is somebody very smart very analytical here um doesn't have to be the shadiest person it could be someone who works in law enforcement who deals in law enforcement maybe an officer type of person here but they're very authoritative you know when they speak their word is law and they stand on it ten toes down can't tell them anything so don't even try to argue with that kind of energy because you know that's the king of swords they have the gift of gab and will argue you up and down period you have to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine <laughs> And with the sun, it's all about the inner useful spirit. This is Leo energy. Both of these cards, playfulness, playfulness. Someone brings out the inner kid in you. Someone makes you want to be playful here, you know? Like going in a park swinging, like going to... Uh, <laughs> just the things that you do when you're young, when you're useful. I almost told some of my stuff. <laughs> and um, trust the situation is calling for you to have faith. Have faith in the process. Have faith that the universe has your back right have faith that you're gonna be so happy when you meet this person um that you're gonna see why the things didn't work out in the past this is the only card that the hero fin laughs it's like he is cracking up he cannot get enough of himself he is tripping like i've been tripping this whole time off of this game clock life and this is what it was all about like are you kidding me are you freaking kidding me like just gloating at this point in life it's all making sense now and worth waiting for the temperance is about balance it's about patience it's about faith you know definitely worth waiting for divine timing and is at work in your love life i like it i really really like it for you guys i'm gonna get you guys a moonology and then kipper i always in my readings with kipper kipper is so beautiful i love the messages capricorn <laughs> i love this capricorn look at this guy super badass can't tell him or her nothing period <laughs> <laughs> okay so, there we go surrender to the divine here we go you and your loved ones are safe and there we go okay spirit i love how you help me with these readings what do you need to release yes what do you need to release you need to claim back the parts of you that have been toyed with played with sacrificed right surrender to the divine and you and your loved ones are safe and protected and that is beautiful beautiful energy balance spirituality with practicality here right full moon and pisces get you guys the universe has your back no this is the law of attraction not the universe has your back where is my universe has your back oh, i put them i boxed them back I put them back in their box. So, whoa. <laughs> focus. Okay. It reads, I focus my logical mind to make smart, effective business decisions. To be that King of Swords type of energy here, you know? Very logical. Someone that makes head over heart decisions here. Towards your coin with the King of Pentacles as well. Grounding. There we go. I center and ground myself, right? Despite emotional upset around me. Woo! 
center and grounding yourself through meditation despite the emotional upset around you and there has been that and this energy here look at that look at that capricorn it's all good <laughs> now you can be the puppet um master of your life you know now you can be the puppet master your own puppets here you can pull your own strings and stop allowing others to do it here that's the message and then we have good fortune i've seen it i am taking it yes will of fortune twice jupiter nine of cups and that taurus energy fortune is on your side some of you guys are going to be so prosperous here in 2021 and even moving forward the universe provides me and my family with prospects for good fortune. You better know it. <laughs> you better know it. Will of Fortune. Jupiter. Right? Nine of Cups. Wish Fulfillment. And Taurus. Venus Blessing. Everything here that you touch magically. Magically. Divinely guided. Kepler Oracle. What messages are we closing out the Capricorns with for their beautiful, beautiful journey? Beautiful. It ain't always been, though. It ain't always been beautiful. Death to the old Jew, to the old ways that did not serve you, and it's time to dead a situation with you and someone that does not reciprocate your energies here. It's time to walk away, put the final nail in that coffin and walk away from the Capricorn and don't look back. You know, you have a problem with looking back. Spirit said, you have a problem with looking back and going back to this person that hurt you. And the message here is to walk away from this. The only card I've ever seen where all seven of the swords are being held, right? Stop looking back on situations or people that hurt you. Looking back at this person, looking back at this situation to keep allowing it to resurrect in your life is like what's your biggest flaw here. This is the main energy of what you need to be getting rid of out of your life. It's what's literally blocking your blessings. It's what's literally blocking these other energies from coming in because you can't leave well enough alone because you're so addicted to this other person and their energy and their desire and the way that they pull your strings. Um, good or bad, you know, that you won't walk away. And you have an official person come in. This can be that King of Swords, somebody that's very decorated, somebody that's at the top of their game. Could be someone in law enforcement here as well that wants to take a journey with you. This person sees you as the one. They want something serious here, taking things to a higher level of commitment, you know, worth waiting for. Somebody's going to come in very authoritative, someone that could be in the Army, Armed Forces, maybe a reserve. It can even be an airline pilot here. Or work in the judicial system somewhere, you know. An unexpected income, occupation, and mature man. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, you guys have really good cards here. Um, I'm not going to pull any more from my Kipper deck. I'm going to bring it home for you guys. What we have here is occupation. This is your energy Capricorn. This is you guys working, loving to work, and getting to it no matter what. It doesn't matter as long as you continue to work here, focusing on yourself. You know, relaxed and slow and steady, productive, earthy type of energy like you are. As long as you continue to do the work, you're going to unexpectedly be able to grow and manifest income in places and areas that maybe you didn't even intend to here um, or look at as a... Um, avenue for money to grow and with jupiter energy being here the will of fortune nine of cups is going to pay off for you guys so keep working keep hitting that grindstone it's here for you a mature man has you on the brain sees you as the one and they continue to watch you from afar this is somebody that can watch you while you work this is somebody i don't get that this is the person that was pulling your strings in the past that kept breaking your heart um the one that you kept mending from i believe that this is a new person a very mature person someone here their money is doing really well right um it's coming back in. Spirit wants me to get that card. <laughs> Your last card here. And I'm not trying to ignore any messages. I just thought I was done. The Spirit like, uh -uh. they do not play. They give me these cards for a reason. So instead of looking back on the past, on situations that you should have dead at a long time ago, something or someone here, um, it could have been a physical death for some of you guys. You could have lost somebody that you love. You could be healing from that, right? Family, friends. It could have been. That energy is here. But I more so get for this for the most part, for most of you, that you keep looking back on the situation.
that um, spirit is trying to show you so many ways. There's so many different things happening around this situation to show you that this is not for you. And you keep looking back on it. You're blocking your own blessings from coming in. You have something more better coming. You have someone that wants to be on a life journey with you that wants to possibly marry you. They're worth waiting for. This person watches you from afar. This could be someone you've met in a different place, or it could be someone that you're going to meet with Jupiter is foreign travel, right? Um, distant travel. So it could be someone that you'll meet when you're out on a trip. This person is very smitten by you. This person watches you. I see here that they only have eyes for you, and this person could possibly be waiting for the right time to come in and to express themselves to you. That is that King of Pentacles kind of energy, you know? I don't bother. King of Pentacles are sitting here chilling. Like, this energy and this person is really very patient <laughs> with that earthly practical kind of energy they're very patient they will wait as long as it takes before they come in and i'm not gonna here we go there you go i knew you were here buddy don't hide from me <laughs> someone that's very patient you know with the king of pentacles and the wealthy man someone that owns their own business this person can have business in you know overseas and travels a lot this person could be well traveled well spoken they dress really well and are very handsome very attractive very sexy if this is a female very beautiful energy very charismatic this person is going to sweep you off of your feet they're going to know exactly what to do for you and how to do it this person checks all the boxes for you capricorn it's someone that you deserve and it's someone that the universe is sending to you to fulfill your wishes here unexpectedly you're not going to see this coming you're not going to see this person coming in. <laughs> Let's get rid of Mr. King of Swords because he's going to be lurking too now. You're going to have somebody that's going to be sitting back lurking. That's going to want to come in and steal your joy. So you're going to have to walk away from this person once and for all. And stop looking back at shit that should have been ended a long time ago, honey. And stop blocking your success and your blessings and allow it to go. Fizzle out. Thank you guys so much. I hope someone got what they needed from this reading. I love you all so much. Love and light your way. Namaste.